at this little uh, daycare where, you know, they, my mom it was free, so she put me in the daycare. And we up there with these little stupid ass kids. And we was like 11 and 12, so we used to, I used to beat them up and take the peanut butter and jelly sandwich, you know. And our counselor, she was, you know, she she smoked weed. She was a she was a whore, you know. <laughs> she was nasty and she didn't know what to do with us. We had no arts and crafts or nothing. She didn't do shit with us. We just hung out playing, making up our own games, man. You know, kiss me, you can finger me, you know them little. And that got old after a while and they ran out of hand soap, so that wasn't, that wasn't going to be a fun night, you know, you know, but I, when I, you know, and this, this day camp was in a, uh, you know, predominantly, you know, suburb, may I say, you know, like it is in here, more whites than blacks, you know, and, and I used to live in the hood, you know, and when I got around white people, a lot of things that was different, white people have season passes and six flags, and they could go a bunch of times, but the main thing was the white girl, that threw me for a loop. I had never seen a white girl before. I had never seen nobody named Rebecca or Samantha or Elizabeth. You know? I, I was around Lakeisha's and Sharonda's, you know what I'm saying? You know, Shakita's. said Lakeisha's and Sharonda's. Samantha or Elizabeth. You know? I, I was around Lakeisha's and Sharonda's, you know what I'm saying? You know, Shakita, you know. Shout out to my kids just around us out there. You know what I'm talking about. That was my girls, and when I seen Elizabeth, man, oh my God, she was cute. She had red hair, and her cheeks were like rosy, like a cartoon, like Charlie Brown. You know, the little Charlie Brown girl he had a crush on back in the day. Her cheeks was red, and one thing a white girl could do that just blew my mind, he could put her hair behind her ear, and it just... <laughs> Oh my God, that was so sexy to me. I was like, holy shit, do that again, Elizabeth. She's like, what are you talking about? Oh man, I, I, was, I break out in a cold sweat. I couldn't, I was in love with her from, from that day on. I followed her everywhere. Please put your hair behind your ears for me, just for the day. Lavelle, I'm sick of doing this with you. Uh, and, and it was a, the little girl that from my neighborhood, her name was Shakisha. She couldn't stand me because she loved me. She was had a crush on me, but she was mad because I liked Elizabeth. She went to the day camp too. Why you like that little ugly white girl? Why you like that ugly white girl? I said, first of all, watch your damn mouth. <laughs> you around my white woman, all right? You're being highly disrespectful. <laughs> Second all, Shakisha, can you put your hair behind your ear, huh? She said, yeah, I can. She tried, it popped out, and she tried again, it popped out. I said, I ain't got no more fucking... <laughs> she tried, it popped out. Time for you, all right? She said, let me get some hair off. Fuck that, I ain't got no time. If you can't do it on your own, you don't need to do it at all. <laughs> So one, you know, one day we was at day camp and we was trying to, we was supposed to go to a, a with the counselor and she couldn't find out nothing to do, but she wanted to see her boyfriend. I heard her on the phone talk to him. I'm gonna come over, Robert. I'm gonna see if I can get away. I'm gonna bring the kids over and let them go swimming. I heard her say it. And I was like, fuck it, I'll go swimming. If you're gonna take a swimming, you know, kids love to swim, you know. I, don't, I couldn't swim, I'm black. We don't swim. We don't, black kids don't swim. We learn later after one of our friends die. We learn. And we, and we, this is black swimming. We work at three, three feet. We walk it on the wall like, well, look at me. I'm swimming, play up. 
<laughs> we'll go over and put our foot on the Oh shit, I almost got in there. <laughs> and that's how that's how black that's how black oh, pool parties are. We don't go in the deep chair. We we jump off the diving board close to the side and get out. If somebody try to push a bitch, I'll fuck you up. If you push me again, stop playing. I just got my hair done. But we, we don't we don't swim, but I wanted to go. And she said, hey, guys, I'm going to take you over to my apartment complex, but you can't tell anybody where we're going because we weren't supposed to take us away from, you know, the daycare center. We weren't supposed to leave the premises, but she doing some foul shit. She said, we went over there. She didn't even watch. She watched us for five minutes. We was unsupervised. All these 11, 12 years old, all by ourselves. And it was cool. Cause I was trying to get up on Beth anyway, so you know we jump in the water. I had on my little Aquaman uh, swim shorts, they tied up a little tight up in my crotch, and I'm ready to get out there and follow Beth around the pool. She was cool, you know. When we was in, you know, three feet, but Beth was trying to get away from me. Apparently, she wasn't as into me as I thought she was. But I was like, "What's wrong, Beth? Come on, baby, slow down. Put your hair behind your head and let's talk." You know. And she kept on me alone, and she just started floating, and I'm following her, you know, and I'm mesmerized by her beauty, you know. Uh, the, the hair behind her ears just had me hip, hypnotized, and I'm, I'm following her all the way over there, and then I noticed that I wasn't paying attention. I'm still walking under the water, but the water over my damn nose. But I kept walking with her. Next thing you know, she took off like a feather just floated across the water because she white. They know how to swim. She swam real well like a damn mermaid. And I went under the damn water. I didn't know what. I'm under the water. Bloop. I'm sitting around there. Like... This is weird. Why I ain't floating like Beth? I don't know what I can do to get up under the water like But I couldn't get up. I couldn't get up. Next thing you know, I disappeared. Uh, in my mind, I was gone. And all I dreamed about is white women just leaving me all over the place. <laughs> and when I woke up, I'm laying on the side of the pool. The camp counselor, she freaking out like, oh shit, I'm gonna lose my fucking job. Fuck me. Hell with me. <laughs> She didn't care if I was alive or not. She worried about her job because she wasn't even there. She was over there probably doing some ungodly shit with her boyfriend <laughs> smelling like marijuana and the paramedics trying to give me mouth to mouth with that woke me up because you ain't gonna put your lips on me. I don't know you. And I came through and I threw up. I died. They said I was unconscious for 10 minutes. I was dead. I died. And I'm sitting there like, damn. I, I died, and Beth, where's Beth? <laughs> Beth's stinking ass had went home with her parents. They had sent everybody home, and she left me, that dirty bitch. <laughs> and after that, I didn't like white girls never again. <laughs> I went back to Shakisha, I said, Shakisha, I don't care if you can't put your hair behind your ears. <laughs> Can you swim? <laughs> Fuck swimming. You gonna be my boo for life. <laughs> That's my story. Man, this guy's a nut, man. Round of applause for him again, man. Big up to you, LaBelle, man. Stay away from those pool deep ends, man. What was you thinking, bro? What was you thinking? What you think it was? You still not looking at Beth, man. <laughs> Big up to him, man. You already know what time it is. Thank you, family, for the ones who suggested this one to the channel, man, and shared it with everybody else, man. We appreciate it. We always appreciate the laugh from um, Lavelle. And like I said, if you're a big Lavelle fan, go check out some of the other Lavelle I got on the channel, man. Go check out that Eon Edwards, man. That boy is a fool, man. Shark Attack? Very hilarious, man. You you wouldn't understand unless you've seen it already. Go check that out. It's on the channel, man. And you already know what time it is, fam. Leave me something at the bottom. Let me know how you feel about this joint. You're looking good, though. Did I tell you that already? I must really mean it, man. 
I'm really proud of you. You're taking care of yourself. Looking great. But anyway, this is the worst part of the video, family. The part where I gotta go to get some more. I got more subscriber content to get into, and I honestly can't wait to sit back down with the family and kick that joint with y'all, man. I miss y'all, man. That's genuine. Real talk. It's good to be back with y'all. I'll see y'all soon though. Y'all be safe out there. I love you guys. <laughs> Niggas hating on the kid, I guess it's cause I'm vicious Rolling up in something new and taking all the bitches How you get your car that tone, that shit is so prestigious I would compliment your shit, but I would really mean it Niggas hating on the kid, I guess it's cause I'm vicious